cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor Barstool Entertainment doing another Skyrim video. In this case, my character is joining the Mage Guild. Why is he joining the Mage Guild when I don't intend for him to be a mage? Well, peace and quiet. I've married Camilla and adopted children and they're living in my home in Whiterun and it's I kind of become annoying. So, I joined the Mage Guild and I got a place to where I can crash and store stuff and craft stuff like alchemy and enchanting and i'll do videos about that i think i did a video on alchemy i'll do another video about the whole restoration loop later and enchanting later but i digress so let's join the mage guild you have to go to winter hole walk up the ramp and you meet Feralda, and to be honest with you, she does nothing if you walk by her. No matter what, the college will endure. Like I said, Feralda does nothing. The only time she will act is if you take violent action. The gate is sealed, and you can't open it without the proper magic spell, which... Feralda casts, and then once you can enter, you freely enter, and you then go and learn your mage stuff, or you just sponge off of them and live in the quarters they assign you, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Now back to Feralda and passing her test. You can do so as a dragonborn, but it's not fun unless you do it immediately. Winterhold's glory days may lie behind it, but the, the college is an asset to Skyrim. Even if it goes unnoticed, there's nothing more I can teach you. If you can pass the test, then yes. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Excellent. Yes, you were going to demonstrate your ability, were you not? No? Very well. It's your choice. No? Well, if you think you're capable. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around... Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Too much knowledge lies within the college's walls. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. You can try and do it as Dragonborn, but unless you immediately mention that you're Dragonborn and you have the proper shout, you're basically stuck in the loop of having to demonstrate magic ability. And now that I have Mage Light, I'm going to cast it on Feralda for a little bit of fun here. Let's see if I can uh, I'm walk by her and let's see if Mage Light will get this thing popping here. Nah, it doesn't work for me, but... Feralda casts it, so I'm going to cast some on her. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, missed her. Well, it's hovering around her, kind of like candlelight. Hmm. Maybe I'll shut up and just let this play out. Winter holds glory days may lie behind it. The college lives on. Thank you. 
Mirabel does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for me. If you talk to these wizards, there's some cattiness and stuff going on, but you gotta talk to Mirabella, and here she is. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Balnor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the College. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Ah, everyone here walks super slow, and you know, if you talk to these wizards, they sell you all kinds of stuff like gems and spell books, etc. Oh gosh, you know, you can just uh, load up on really super cheap soul gems and enchant your way to 100 while I look at her ass here. And yeah, the living quarters are where there is a great advantage to joining the mage college. And once we get to the mage quarters, living quarters or whatever, um, yeah, I'll explain. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. I'm going to follow her, but you take a look, you got this entire area all to yourself with plenty of storage. And I'll get back to that once we finish up this part of the whole um, journey to joining the Mage Guild. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. If you go into the Hall of Elements and talk to Tolfdir, you go through the whole Mage College thing. Like I said, I joined just for this. Look at all this stuff. I'm going to pick it all up and dump it into a barrel, clean everything up here. I can sell the fine boots and the fine clothing, make a little profit. All this other garbage I'm just going to take and dump into a barrel. Um, the ingredients for alchemy, I'm going to keep these because they're useful. But otherwise, yeah, now you can sleep in your own bed. Uh, you don't have the wife and kids bothering you. And you have plenty of space for storage. And if you go to the other hall where the instructors sleep, you can have an enchanter and an alchemy table to do stuff. And 
again, this is all your space. No wife, no children. You can get away. You can chill out. You got people to hang out with. This is where I'm going to dump everything. And then I'm going to, um, how shall I say, um, go forward. And whenever I need a break, I'll just come here and crash. That's the advantage of joining the Mage Guild. You got a really nice place to crash, very comfortable, and no wife and no children. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave some comments. I do reply to comments. Um, if you like this type of video, well, Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and I post four videos a week. They'll be posted in your home feed, and you'll be notified. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for you know being a viewer. Thanks for joining. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. And thanks for stopping by.